What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and today for you I have my 19th episode of my FIFA 13 Wolverhampton Wanderers career mode. We have a match against Manchester United coming up so let's play that in this episode. Now, Vidic and Valencia are injured and from what I've noticed in the Barclays Premier League this year, the whole league's been scattered with injury <laughs> like bloody hell. We're currently in first place with 83 points. And uh, following a Manchester City, Spurs, Manchester United, and Chelsea. So, we much got it in the bag at the moment. And this is actually the last episode. So, and this is also the last match of the season. So, however this result goes, we've won the title. So, uh, I'm really happy about this, how this went. I wasn't expecting it at all. I wasn't expecting to play this well. We picked up a lot of draws, which uh, helped us a lot. And, like I said, the whole league was scattered with injury. So even if we get smacked by Manchester United here, it's not going to matter because we won. Now I was expecting a mid-table finish, and um, you might be thinking, "Oh, it's not real. It's not realistic." Well, it's not realistic, <laughs> but it's career mode. It's FIFA. Um, don't take it too serious, guys. If you like all oh, ain't all about that. But I've been having fun. It's not even Wolverhampton, but practically anymore. There's a lot of lot of new players. There's very few. Wolverhampton players, and if they are, they're the amazing players like Big Sig. Now, like I said, this is the last episode. This is the last episode of the season. Now, there'll be episode 20 will be season 3, and then I'll obviously be asking you for transfers. So, put in the comment section down below now, so I know obviously in advance when I go to record it, what players you want me to sign. Now, I have 30 million. I have 30 million to play around with. Also, I have Adrian, and I haven't sold anyone yet, and... Speaking of injuries, Wayne Rooney picks up an injury and uh, actually gives us a penalty. So uh, Danny Warbeck comes on, Robin Van Persie steps up. So as I was saying, put in the comment section down below uh, who I should sign because I'm not really looking for anyone in particular. I probably, because uh, Sturman's getting a little bit old now and Dumbia's going home. So probably a central defensive midfielder. Mid, mid, midfielder. <laughs> central, central defensive midfielder. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, a central defensive midfielder. I probably might pick up Floaini, uh, Astovitsu, or maybe Vidal. There's a couple of names there you might want to listen to, but after I buy, I want to buy, I want to buy a big midfielder that can play in the defensive side of things as well. That's probably what I'm be looking for. And maybe if I have a little bit of money left over, I might bring in another defender. But it doesn't really matter too much. Put in the comment section down below. I read every single comment. I reply to every single comment within reason. Most of them make sense. The ones that don't make sense, <laughs> I just usually ignore. So, um, yeah. So, this is the last match. We're playing against Manchester United. It's currently 2-2. And, uh, wow. There's... Blaz, mate, uh, a free agent actually missed. He's gotten some. He's put himself into some really good positions, but unfortunately hasn't finished them. He's got like a little sexy little Jufro going on there, little afro. <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? I just started choking. <laughs> I'm just a spastic. I think I need a drink. Just Christ, like nearly died. So, continuing on, guys. Uh, we're going to be showing you the squad report. How the Youth Academy is going, the players' values, and uh, how we went in the season. So let's get on with it. Two true draw against Manchester United. So we actually drew against Chelsea, Spurs, and Manchester United in the last couple of matches. So this is actually the last match. I thought that was the last match. We end up beating Wolves 4-0. Now look at that. This looks sick. Sacco, Adrian, Big Sig, and Wallace and end up scoring. But unfortunately... Richards, my free agent. He's been playing well. I've been bringing him on occasionally and Yamamoto. He actually uh, got injured for two months, which is not good. Not good at all. <laughs> so, oh, damn it. I thought that was the last game. I keep on mixing myself up. So we ended up getting, oh, we ended up getting a youth player once out. Tak, Taka Fumu. Oh, I'm going to have to see that again. What was his name? Takafumi Neami. Takafumi Neami. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even know. So let's actually give him a contract. Let's sign him. And uh, now, this is the last match. I'm just being a bit of a spastic at the moment. We had a match against Level uh, Everton. I thought Sinnings were in the lead. Um, there's no way we can lose the Premiership. I don't. 
I want to get this season over and done with. I want to start the new season and hopefully it goes well. So our Youth Academy player actually uh, actually signs with it. So look at that. 19 million we get. Mental. Absolutely mental. Manchester City actually came second with 79 points. Chelsea on 76. And uh, Spurs on 75. So that's the money. That's not all, but I do get another... Um, 15 million because I've actually started up but I haven't gone through much. So that's the squad. Hennessy, 83 overall. Fagger, Fagner, he was actually only meant to get to go to a 77 overall. I did have a look at his FIFA Fanatic stats. So he's a 79, which goes to show that uh, not all players uh, only stop at that potential. Adrian and Sacco are both 82 rated, big sigs on 80. And uh, there's just the players, if you want to have a look at them. I will be showing you the squad report. I'm just currently look, showing you the uh, just the squad and what I was playing, the 3-5-2. And uh, there's the Japanese player. He's actually six foot two, which is really interesting because he's Japanese. <laughs> Four-star skill moves and three-star weak foot. So, awesome. Let's look at the squad report. Hennessy's gone up two. Fagner's gone up two as well. He's only 24, he's still young. Kurt Zuma. Has also gone up four. Ward hasn't changed. I haven't really played him too much. Hara, I'll probably be selling him later on. And Tongan Dumbia. Sterling has actually gone up to a 76. He only scored one goal this season, which is interesting. And Adrian, four this season. 26 goals. He actually picked up a one match ban in the last episode. That's not too good. But Big Sig as well. He's been playing really well. And Wallison, he's 25 years old. I'm probably going to be selling him soon. So Yamamoto, Ichi Yamamoto, Nori uh, Yamamoto. Blaz also went up one. And uh, now we're just going to be moving on to the loans and people I didn't really play with. Richardson went up two, which is interesting. <laughs> but he's out for eight weeks, so kind of shit. <laughs> Stearman went up three. He's playing badly, though. But that's just the players out on loan. David Davis... And uh, we actually had a good centre-back that went up to a BPL club. So that's the top five. Liverpool, Arsenal, Newcastle didn't make the top five. And uh, Adrian scored 23 goals. That's absolutely crazy. So, let's have a look at the league table. We had 27 wins, 9 draws and 2 losses with 90 points. Manchester City. 23 wins, 10 draws, 5 losses, and Chelsea with an astounding 10 losses. Wow. 24 wins, 4 draws. It's scattered with draws. Newcastle United had 14 draws. Just draws all over the place. And the three teams that are getting relegated are Wigan, Sunderland, and I can't quite catch the other one. I can't remember. Um, there's the goal storing. Wallison scored 16. Big Sig also got 15. And that were the only three players that got into the top 14 ranked for goals. Asama Asadi also got 15th, so he scored 15 goals. He's not too bad. He's playing really well. He's really good in this game. Five-star skill, five skill in Moroccan. So, yet again, we've got more Adrian and Wallace in action up front there, and also Big Sig on six assists. 12 for Adrian and 9 for Wallace. So, I hope you've been enjoying this series. I've been absolutely having a blast of it. So, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this. Hennessy. 16 clean sheets tied with Joe Hart, but I reckon Joe Hart got more in a row. That's why he's up there. But Hennessy coming from having all... The, he had an astounding number of clean sheets in the championship. But coming up to a, a Barclays Premier League standard, he did exceptionally well. And uh, Sturman, our play actually was up there for the red cards. There was no yellow card craziness up there for us. So qualify for Euro. We did that. That's it was our main objective. Now... Uh, Pizzioco has actually gone back to FC Colin and uh, Tongan Dumbia actually went back to Seed Arenas. Rain Ace. Rain Ace? <laughs> Rainus. <laughs> I don't know. But Adrian is actually worth 38 million here, and I don't have any intention of selling him in this series so far. So, like I said, put in the comment section down below who you want me to sign. I'm looking for a midfielder that kind of centrally minded we have 30 million to spend so it's gonna be very awesome we got the manager award received and uh yeah we got the season award which is fucking awesome so i can't wait to start the next season i might actually rename the videos to season two season whatever i have time we can be bothered <laughs> tomorrow so put in the comment section down below guys 
players to sign. And it's going to be fucking awesome this next season. We've got all our youth players coming up. And uh, we've got the players are slowly uh, growing themselves. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and hope you enjoy the rest of your day. This has been SimC. I'm out. Laters, my friends. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Just before I leave you, could I please ask you to follow me on Twitter? It's the best way to interact with me. I respond to every single tweet I get. On that, you'll be able to see when I post a video, uh, giveaways coming up, and also when I'm playing subscribers. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to me to get the most recent and up-to-date content on my channel. So thanks, guys. Bye.